during the prophetic service, of the Ark of God's Covenant ministry. The man of God Apostle John Chi, move in the midst of the congregation. And the Spirit of God leads him to give messages of prophecy to the <laughs>
Shock is it's not the exact word. There's, there's no word to say. Did you also tell anybody that your wife was pregnant? No. Did you tell any worker that your wife was pregnant? No. What happened when he walked up to you? So before he walked up uh, close to me, we were sitting uh, the other side at my right. So I was already feeling like a current in my body. So, And suddenly, before he points at me, I was cold. So, as we woke up, those were his words, that you come from a long way. So, and I fell in tears. So, he prayed for me and my wife. And before we left that day, he said that he wanted to follow us. So, since that time till now, he has been follow following us right away from Cameroon, calling us from time to time, praying with us, and blessing us with the anointing water. So, we have always been in contact, his prayers, and uh, everything has been working so good. Yes, I continue. Can you just give us a recap of your family background before this prophecy came? Did you tell anybody you're coming from an idol-worshipping background? No, never, never, never. So, usually, every year in my family, we have this tradition to go to the village, all of the family, the children, so we go and, uh, you know, in the village we have some stones. Even when we are born, our nerves are put on stones. We shed blood, chicken, kill fowls for worshipping. So it's something uh, regular that we used to do it back home. Okay. So when the man of God prophesied to you, and he prayed for you. He said before you came, you were receiving attacks. After yeah. this prophecy and the prayers, what has happened? Ah. What has been the changes? I sleep like a baby. <laughs> Can we give a better clap of to Master Jesus? Yeah. After he prayed for me, everything has been going well in my life. I don't see all those spiritual attacks. Or my wife because even the, he said also that the baby they wanted to kill the baby and this is the baby today so they have not succeeded god has been in, with us indeed can we give a better clap offering in the words of our brother he said they have not succeeded say neighbor my enemies will not succeed i cannot hear you say neighbor my enemies will not succeed if you believe they will not succeed, can you give a better clap offering? Can we listen to your wife? Tell us your name. My name is Ndum Felicita. The person beside me is my lovely husband. The person I'm carrying is my baby. We want to thank God. My husband did not even say it all. <laughs> we were here last year when the man of God came. The man of God located us through prophecy. I was even shocked because me, I, nobody even knew that I was pregnant. Even my mom never knew I was pregnant by then. I was three months pregnant. So nobody, knew, only me and my husband knew that I was pregnant. Nobody. And I've, as, uh, I used to visit so many churches, even in Nigeria. No, no man of God has never prophesied to me in life, in my life, like this direct. My messages always come through dream or um, when I'm walking in the road, in the street like this, somebody will locate me and tell me something about my life. A man of God have never prophesied to me. But that day, man of God told me I was pregnant. I was shocked. I said, this man can really see me. When he entered, when he faced that side, we're sitting that other direction. I feel one call in me. One, I was feeling one call in me. I was vibrating. I said, wow. When he, stay, he, he reached there, he, he was prophesying to one lady there that she had several miscarriages. When he reached there, I stood up. Uh, because I really wanted man of God to locate us with all means. So when he was pointing at that lady, I stood up, I, up, I carried my hand up because I wanted him to see me first. So that lady, but man of God did not prophesy to me, he prophesied but to that lady. I said, oh God of mercy. I said, this, this family I do, I follow us in this place. Oh. See, it has even covered the man of God's eyes. He cannot even see me, even as I'm up like this. Before he turned around, locate my husband, I said, okay, thank God. So... <laughs> So the man of God uh, prophesied to my husband about the family idols. It was not easy. It was not really easy. From day one for the pregnancy, I've been sick seriously. 
very sick. My mother used to call me. What is the problem? You just travel now to go and meet your husband. Now you are bleeding blood, vomiting blood. What is really the problem? I was crying every day. The, the first month I slept, I saw myself. I was in Cameroon. It was like my shadow came out. I met myself in front of our gate in Douala. I was knocking at the gate that my mom should open the gate. Nobody was seeing me. Only my little baby was seeing, seeing me. And when I woke up, I started crying. All that day I was crying. I said, maybe I would die. Oh. I didn't tell my husband that dream even. I even uh, hide it for my, for my mom. I didn't tell her. So, so when we came to the crusade, the man of God prayed for us. He delivered us when we went back home. All those dreams, I never experienced them again. I never. Can we celebrate Master Jesus? Madam, you said before you came, you will usually vomit blood. You'll be seeing some kind of things. After the prayer, I used to ex did you experience such? I never vomited blood again since the man of God prayed for me. Even the pregnancy symptoms, I didn't even know if I was having pregnancy symptoms or it was because of the problems, the spiritual problem. I don't even know again. Because when a woman is pregnant, you have to, he, her ways will always change. But my own, I don't understand. Because all type of dream in this world, I've dreamt when I was that pregnant. I can see pregnant women dying with pregnancy. I will see myself in the hospital. I will see one woman in front of me. She just put to bed. She died with the baby. Everything is dead, 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 dead. I was always seen dead. Always dead. I was asking myself, what is the problem? I just newly got married. I said, God, what is the problem? Now, so this marriage that I got married now is for me to come and die. What is the problem? I was just crying every day. I was crying. So I, immediately one of God prayed for us. Yeah, I went back. All those things disappear. Even the symptoms disappear. You can do better. You can do better. If you are expecting a baby, you can do better. Um, um, my first baby, even with my husband, we have a first uh, daughter. I took in for her pregnancy also here in UAE. The first one month after, the pregnancy came out. I wake up in the night to go and pee. I saw blood. And I, like, I felt myself like if I'm not even pregnant again. I was instead happy because I was not ready for it. So I told my husband that CEO, the pregnancy have come out to her. I was, he was like, what is the problem now? I went and packed myself. We slept. In the morning, I went and met one Nigerian woman. I said her, I want to go to the hospital. I have miscarriage. She told me her, do you want to... That was before the coming of the man of God. This one, I, this one this is another testimony. I've never testified this. It was when I met man of God, uh, I prayed with him through the, my phone, through YouTube channel. So when he was praying for the viewers, when that thing happened to me, I woke up in the morning. I took, uh, I went to meet one woman, one elderly woman like that, because I've never visited any hospital in UAE before. So with that problem, I didn't know what to do. I was confused. So I went to meet this woman. I said, I want to go to the hospital. Let them clean me. Maybe I, I have miscarried. I show her. She said, oh my God, you have lost your baby. I told her I'm not even ready for the baby, and so I, I don't care if the baby come out or not. So she told me she will not, that the hospital she knows is very expensive. I came back and sat in the house. I was just praying. Something told me, my husband was worried. So I told her, I, he told me we can pray with uh, any man of God, like TV Joshua, like Apostle John Chi. I said, okay. By then, he don't even know about Apostle John Chi that way. I'm the one who introduced him to Apostle John Chi. So I took Apostle John Chi uh, prayer uh, for viewers. I placed under my stomach. He was praying. I was praying every day. That mo it was on Monday. It happened on Monday. He prayed when he was praying. When I slept in the night before he came back from work, I told him, I I'm feeling somehow old. It's like that I have symptoms for pregnancy again. We waited. That blood ceased. We waited for some days. It was no more flowing. The pregnancy was growing. I, I continued praying with the man of God on phone. I will follow the life services every Sunday. He will be praying. I will put in my stomach till that baby become, my pregnancy become big. And you gave birth to normal, that baby. Can we give a better clap offering to Jesus? If you understand her testimony, she was about to have a miscarriage with her first baby. But she prayed with the man of God on YouTube. And this is how God saved the baby. And she gave birth to that baby. Coming now to this baby, after you receive the word of testimony, the word of prophecy, what happened? And on your labor day, what happened? With this journey again. So... When my pregnancy was like six months, I went to scan. They told me the baby was breech. So when I called my mom, I told my mom. My mom told me the baby, the baby still tried to turn himself. So I was like, I was feeling bad. I was feeling so bad. So I called man of God. I wrote to man of God. I didn't know he would even reply me. I just messaged him. So unfortunately, he saw my message. He just replied immediately. Hey, I was jumping in the room. 
I was very happy. That man of God replied me, oh, hey, I called my mom. My mom, I told my mom, that man of God, I wasn't even crying. My mom said, why are you crying? I said, I'm happy. Man of God replied me, it means my baby is fine. My baby will take good, uh, the right position. One week after I went back for, stand, for scan, they said the baby is okay. The baby head is down. Can we give a better clap offering to Master Jesus? Remember, the baby was breached. She didn't meet the man of God one-on-one -on -one to receive prayers for the baby to take the normal cephalic position. The man of God only ministered prayers through the phone and the baby took its rightful position. Distance is no barrier to the move of God. If you can receive her miracle through phone, what about you that is right here and is about to see the man of God with your own eyes? You have no reason to remain the same like when, how you came. If you remain the same, it means you did not play your part. Say, neighbor, I will play my part. Say, neighbor, I will play my part. If you're ready to play your part, can I see your hand? Your part is to act faith. Hallelujah. So during delivery, what happened? So I have to go back again to my gynecologist for the, another scan again after seven months. She told me I cannot give birth to this child normally. She told me this baby is still breached. So I said, my baby, my, I said my baby is not breached. When man of, I, call, uh, I called the man of God, when man of God uh, told me he would get back to me, after he called me, he prayed for me. He said, I should put my hand on my stomach. I put my hand. Man of God prayed. I went back to scan again. They told me, madam, the head of your baby. So finally, down. what happened? So finally, now, for the last day of the, the, the day I was giving birth, the day I was supposed to give birth, I went back. They said, my placenta is abnormal. They have to remove the baby. So I called the man of God. The man of God prayed for me. I was already in the hospital. They were supposed to operate me, so I slept there. So man of God prayed for me. Man of God said, they were not going to operate you. When I slept, I woke up 20 minutes after when they were preparing me for theater. The baby came out without Can any we operation. give a better clap offering to Master Jesus? You can do better. So, madam, for this wonderful thing God Almighty has done for you, what is your advice and your promise to people out there? My advice to you all that came here seeking for the face of God. My brothers, my sisters, don't be in the haze. Immediately you see man of God, we are two eyes inside this place. You don't blow. Everything about you, just be happy. You can do better, you can do better. During the prophetic service of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry, the man of God Apostle John Chi, move in the midst of the congregation. And the Spirit of God leads him to give messages of prophecy to the people. As the Bible clearly states in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God has promised not to leave his people in darkness. Jesus Christ is the light of the world and whoever follows him shall never walk in darkness. the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. You baby, now move in the name of Jesus Christ. So, she's going to bring glory. Okay? She saw you in the dream this morning. Uh -huh. She saw me in the dream this morning. Okay. So, she is a wonderful baby. Thank you, Jesus. So, she is going to bring glory in the family. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay? Yeah. It's a baby girl. Bishop, okay, okay. The person beside me is my lovely wife. The prophecy that man of God gives to us, we confide the prophecy is this true. And uh, the baby, man of God told us, everybody think that the baby is the baby boy. Even though, Dr. Tua is the baby boy. Even though, already I give the baby name, boy, um, uh, um, Joshua, as a baby boy. So, so, do you mean what the man of God told you? The man of God said the baby was a baby girl. Baby girl. What was the report from the hospital? The report from the hospital said the baby boy. 
And what were you also thinking that your wife is carrying? I remember I bought um, some clothes, baby boy, and keep in the house. So, when man of God told us that the baby girl, don't look man of God. I was going to say baby boy, and already I bought, uh, I give them already. I have given the baby name already. So, the, man of God told us that the baby will bring a glory to the family. So, the day the, my wife delivered, we just delivered safely, without, without stress. Can we celebrate Master Jesus? Sir, when the man of God was giving you this prophecy that your wife is going to give birth to a baby girl, what were you thinking? I'm confused because almost two hospitals have told us a baby boy. And already I'm, I'm making, I'm prepared that the baby boy is coming. By so many things. So when mother God says the baby girl, um, I, I doubt it, but I did not doubt 100%. So after the prophecy, where did you go to to confirm what the man of so God said? When the man of God said the, uh, the baby girl, the next day I told my wife that we will visit the hospital again. That is the same, that is the same hospital I told her. The, the same baby. hospital that they said the baby was a boy. Uh, so we will visit the doctor. The doctor check again and the scan come as the baby girl. Can we celebrate Master Jesus? If you understand his testimony, Man of God said the baby is a baby girl, but he had already been to two different hospitals and that scan showed she was carrying a baby boy. But immediately after the word of prophecy, they went for another scan. And this time around, it came out just as the man of God had prophesied that it's going to be a baby girl. Can we give a better clap for Master Jesus Christ? Sir, the the man of God also said this baby is going to be a blessing to your family. Yeah. How can you confirm it? I confirm the prophecy that is very 100% true. Because the time my wife delivered the baby, then we stayed in the hospital for three days. I went to the, to the admin to pay the bill. When they gave me the bill, almost 18000 something they told me. So, but they told me no need to pay, that somebody has paid the bill. Can we celebrate Master Jesus? You did not hear him very well. Say, can you say it again? After the delivery, we stayed in the hospital for three days. So I went to the admin to pay for the bill. So they gave me the bill already. But I want to pay. They told me no need to pay. That somebody just pay for the bill. And I asked them who is the person. They said the person just don't call. It. Nobody, don't, let me know. Nobody should mention the, um, his name. Just pray the day. Already the person already left. Can we give a better clap offering to Master Jesus? Indeed, the baby became a blessing. He said, after the wife had put to bed, normally there is a bill you have to pay. And this bill was around 18,000 dirhams. Somebody from nowhere paid the bill. And they left the hospital without paying a dime. Can you give a better clap offering to the king of kings? And sir, after the coming of this baby, what has been the situation in your home? Man of God told us the baby, um, the baby will bring the glory. And the glory started in the hospital. So since that day, of my family just everything turned around. That glory arrived to my family. Can we celebrate Master Jesus? <laughs> Sir, for this, for people, some people will want to know if truly, indeed, this is a baby girl. For the benefit of doubt, we are going to show you indeed that the word of the man of God came to pass. This is a confirmation that it is a baby girl. Sure. A beautiful baby girl for that matter. Can we give a better clap offering to the king of kings? You can do better. You can do better. Can we celebrate Master Jesus? Say neighbor. Say neighbor. 
I am the next to testify. Say, neighbor, I am the next to testify. Do you believe you are the next to testify? If you believe, can we give a better clap offering to Master Jesus? Sir, for this wonderful thing that the Lord Almighty has done for you and your family, what is your advice to viewers out there? My advice to the viewers out there, in life, anything you are doing, focus in God and trust in Him. And focus in the, the, in the any word of man of God. According to that is like Apostle John Chi. I know Apostle John Chi before from, from Nigeria. And we used to follow the time he was in Sagan. So in other words, you're I telling us to believe in the word that is coming out of the mouth of a servant of God. Yes. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Can we clap our hands to the King of Kings? Can we hear a word from Madame? Madam, you're welcome to the Dubai event with the man of God, Apostle John Chi. Thank you, sir. Tell us your name. Pray to the God. What can you say? Madam is short of word. Can we give a better clap offering to Master Jesus? Madam, what is your advice to people listening to you? Can we celebrate Master Jesus? The husband has said it all. Hallelujah. Can we bring, give a better clap offering to Jesus? And sir, what is your promise to the Lord Almighty for this wonderful breakthrough that God has brought in your home? My promise to God that we will continue to serve him until the end of, my, uh, until the end of our life. We are my family. We will continue to serve him. Can we clap for Jesus Christ? Remember the prophecy, the breakthrough came through the word of God. Therefore, in order to maintain this word of prophecy in your life, you should go and make the word of God the standard for your life in Jesus' name. Can we give a better clap offering to Jesus as they walk back to their seat? <laughs> Celebrate Master Jesus. During the prophetic service of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry, the man of God Apostle John Chi move in the midst of the congregation, and the Spirit of God leads him to give messages of prophecy to the people. As the Bible clearly states in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God has promised not to leave his people in darkness. Jesus Christ is the light of the world and whoever follows him shall never walk in darkness. Uh, call her name. Edwan, please come in front. Call it again. Edwan. Be Edwan. Edwan, come. Edwan, God wants to bless your baby. But before that, can you release forgiveness? Will you forgive him? Forgive him from your heart? Yes, brother. Hmm? Okay. Give me a hand. So what was the dream you had? I've been having so many dreams. But when I, I have a dream, I forget about it. Okay. The dream you actually had about this child. I dreamed that I gave birth to a baby, the head was deformed. You like, dreamed that you gave birth to a baby and the head was deformed? Yes. So that is the reason why God said, I shall call the wife. Because there is an attack that wants to happen. So you dreamt that you gave birth to a baby and the head was deformed? Yeah, like a frog. Like that of a frog. Like that of a frog. Yes. But the body was a baby. Then later on, I dreamt that I gave birth through operation to a boy. But at the hospital, they say it's a girl. So I don't even know the sex. because I'm You don't even know the sex? Yes. <laughs> you dreamt that you gave birth to a boy? Yeah, through operation. Through operation. 
you'll give, give birth to a girl. Because God sent me to you, there will be no deformity on this baby. You will give birth to this baby, bouncing baby girl. In the name of Jesus Christ. Baby, I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. From the womb to the day you will come to this world. I bless you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. So the baby is okay now. And ready to come. Everything will be restored. In Jesus' name. Okay? Free. I'm called Edwan B. And by my side is my husband, Dede Tattoo. And I'm carrying my baby, Skyla. Celebrate Master Jesus. Madam, how can you confirm the word of prophecy that was given to you by the man of God, Apostle John Chi? I want to confirm what he said uh, last time he came here, during the last event. So, in the hospital, they told me I have a, I'm carrying a boy. Normally, I wanted a girl, and he, he wanted a boy, my husband. So, when we came to church that day, the man of God, Senior Apostle John Chi, told me the baby I'm carrying is a girl. I was shocked because everywhere I went to, they keep telling me it's a boy. I told them, check again. They said it's a boy. So I want to confirm that prophecy because today I gave birth to a, a bouncing baby girl. You can do better. If you are clapping and expecting a testimony, you can do better. <laughs> Madam, after you receive this word of prophecy, can you tell us the changes that this word of prophecy brought into your life? Yeah, it has brought so many changes in my life. So before, when I was pregnant, in my, at my workplace, they told me they are going to cancel uh, they will cancel me because I am not supposed to have a baby due to the kind of work I do. So when I came here, the man of God told me that baby is a blessing. And indeed she was a blessing. At my workplace, they told me to go back home, that I will stop working from the day they discovered I was pregnant. I had to beg them that I need the job. They told me to go back. So. I've been home for almost four months when I was pregnant. I was home for four months. Every day I keep checking my visa if they have canceled me. So do you mean before the coming of the man of God, you were not working again? Yes, before the coming of Senior Apostle John Chi, I was not working because they sent me back home due to my pregnancy. So after the man of God came, he prayed for me and he told me this child is a blessing. So I went back home with that confidence in me that God will change my situation. After like uh, eight months pregnancy, the people at my workplace, they called me. They asked me, are you ready to start work? I was still pregnant with my baby. And the due date was 20th of December. And they told me, are you, still, uh, are you ready to work? I said, yes. They asked me, when are you ready to start work? I said, 1st of January. Meanwhile, I know my due date is 30th of December. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. To better understand our, our sister's testimony, they had stopped her from working. In fact, they were already about to cancel her visa. But the moment she came here, their confession in, their, in her job site changed. 
she received a call and they were asking her if she was still willing to work. Has it ever happened before like that in your company? It has never happened in my company. Can we give a better clap offering to Master Jesus? So, Madam, tell us, after you told them you will start work 1st of January 2023, what happened? So, the day they called me was around 15 of December. And I told them I will start work 1st of January. Later, I asked myself, I'm pregnant, how will I start? Because this baby is coming 30th. Later, I remembered, oh, the man of God prayed for me. And he said, this baby is a blessing. I also remember my anointed water I took and I applied. I said, if really this child is a blessing from God, let her come before her due date. Madam, which living water are you talking about? Here is the living water. I applied this on my tummy and I prayed that if indeed this baby is a blessing, as the man of God, Senior Apostle John Chi, has said, let her come before the 30th, so that I will be able to start my work on the 1st of, of January. And behold, the next day, I was in labor. Can we celebrate Master Jesus? You can do better. You can do better. Doctors had said she was going to give birth on the, on the 30th. But after ministering the living water, the next day, something happened. What happened, madam? So I was in labor the next day, and I told my husband about it. He was shocked. He told me, this is not your due date. I said, but the man of God told me this baby is coming anytime soon, and I believe in his word. So we went to the hospital. The same day at the hospital, my company called. I was in serious pain. They said, I want to send your offer letter. Sign it now. But I had to pretend as if everything was okay. I said, yes, sir, send. And they sent on my hospital bed, I signed the offer letter. Can we give a better clap offering to Master Jesus? I don't know if you're understanding her testimony. She was already working in this company. It means the moment they asked her to go and wait, they automatically canceled her former contract. And on her labor day, a, a call came and a new contract was allocated to her. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. After today, something new will happen to me. Say neighbor. After today, something new, something that will change my life will happen to me. Do you believe that? If you believe, can you give a better clap offering? So, madam, after you signed the contract, what happened? After I signed the contract, I sent it to them. And he confirmed that he has received the contract. I said, okay. So later on, the nurses and the doctors came to me and said, ha, this baby looks so big, we need to operate you. I told them, there's no operation because the man of God told me that there will be no operation, and I believe in that. They were like, no, they have to operate me because... This baby is so big, I refuse. And later on, I took the living water again and I applied in my mouth and my tummy. And later on, they came and um, I told them I want to ease myself because when I took the living water, I felt uh, pressed. I had to go to the washroom. Immediately, I stood up. The head of the baby was already outside. Can you give a better clap offering to Jesus Christ? So when the nurses discovered the baby's head was out, they started rushing, hey, bring this one, bring this equipment. They were rushing, they were confused because they never knew the child was already there because they, they already planned for uh, operation. They gave the form to my husband to sign. They gave me to sign. I said, I'm not signing. And they went to my husband and gave him the form. So th when they saw the head of the baby, everybody was so scared. And the baby just came out immediately. If care was not taken, she might have fallen down even. Can yeah. you give a better clap offering to Jesus? That is what happened when Jesus steps in into your matter. Yeah. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Today, today, Jesus Christ Jesus. must step into my matter. Yeah. 
Say, neighbor, after today, Jesus Christ must step into my matter. Do you believe he's stepping into your matter? If you believe, can you give a better clap offering? Sir, you're welcome to the Dubai event for Christ with the man of God, Apostle John Chi. Can you confirm with us the word of prophecy given to you by the man of God, Apostle John Chi? Thank you very much. What yes. were the words of prophecy? On that fateful day during the live event here in Dubai, in this very hall, I was the last person the man of God called on that day. He, he, he called me and the minute he hold my hand, he asked me, where is your partner? And I, she was far away from me. We were sitting very, so I called her, I shouted her name to come in front. And the minute she came in front, and he told her, she's carrying a beautiful, blessed, blessed baby girl. Today I'm here to confirm that prophecy, because with me here, my wife, our baby girl is here, and you can see for herself that what the man of God said has come to pass. So, what actually happened with my wife was like a miracle to me. Because we went to the hospital and they told us it's a boy. So we're like, it's a boy. But when we came here, the man of God said, it's a girl. Because my wife was dreaming of a girl and the hospital said it's a boy. And we are confused because the, uh, the midwife could not tell us exactly what was the sex. She told us what she cannot see well, but she believes it's a boy. So after the man of God had prophesied to us, my wife told me we have to go back for a scan. We went back to a different hospital, and this one, this time, it was very clear. It was a girl, and the doctor confirmed to us that it is a girl. Give a better clap offering to Jesus Christ. And sir, after the coming of this baby, what has been the situation? Our lives have turned around. I cannot, uh, I cannot explain the things happening in my family, like the amount of blessings we receive. The blessings that keep coming is, is like daily. From, like every day we receive something else. We just sat in the house and somebody, well, somebody called us and gave us two, two big goats that this is for you, let's keep eating. Can we give a better clap offering to Master Jesus Christ? <laughs> Madam, the man of God said you are going to give birth to a baby girl. Can you tell us what is the sex of your baby? She's a girl. Like I confirmed this prophecy because before I was scared because I kept dreaming of a frog. And the man of God told me, don't be scared because this baby will be so beautiful. As you can see, she's so, pre I'm shocked. Like sometimes I look at her, I'm like, oh my God, is this really my baby? I'm shocked because everybody keeps telling me, this child is not your child. Because we look maybe different. But what God has planned, it must come to pass. And this is what God has planned in my life. So what do they say the baby look like? Now, this, uh, before, I, I dreamt the baby is like a frog, but now everybody's like, oh my God, is that your baby? She's so beautiful. Are you sure they didn't change her? I'm like, can we celebrate Master Jesus Christ? Can we celebrate Master Jesus? Take a good look at the baby. The man of God said it's going to be a bouncing, beautiful baby girl. Can you take a better look at the baby? Exactly as the word of prophecy came. Can we give a better clap offering? Just to confirm the word of prophecy, we would like to ensure that indeed it is 100% true that this baby is a baby girl. Praise the Lord. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. I can't enter here. 
and go back the same. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. I can't enter here. And go back the same. Say my life must change. My story must change. Do you believe your story will change? If you believe, can you give a better clap offering to the king of kings? So, madam, for this wonderful breakthrough that God has done in your life and in your family, what is your advice to people watching you? I want to advise everybody, viewers all over the world, never give up. Believe in God. God might delay, but he will never deny your blessing. Everything is one step to another. If you are in a haste, you might fall into temptation. So be patient with the Lord. He never fails. Thank you. And what can you say about the living water? I want to say this living water, you should not joke with it. It looks so small, so tiny, but it's so powerful. Because with the help of this water, I was able to give birth without oppression. So I want to thank God for my life and also thank the senior Ap Apostle John Chi for the grace that he has been pouring upon us. Thank you. You can do better. You can do better. Sir, for this wonderful thing that God Almighty has done for you, what is your promise to God and what is your advice? Oh, my promise to God is I and my household will keep saving the Lord forever and ever. And my advice is to all viewers of, in the world, please don't give up on this, anointing, on this living water because it is very, very essential. With this, you, can, you have to use it and pray and believe and it will come to pass. Can we celebrate Master Jesus Christ? Sir, remember that the word of prophecy you received from the man of God came through the word of God. Therefore, you go, make the word of God the standard for your life, and we pray with you that God gives you the grace to bring up this child in the way of the Lord in Jesus' name. Can we give a better clap offering to Master Jesus? During the prophetic service of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry, the man of God Apostle John Chi move in the midst of the congregation, and the Spirit of God leads him to give messages of prophecy to the people. As the Bible clearly states in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God has promised not to leave his people in darkness. Jesus Christ is the light of the world and whoever follows him shall never walk in darkness. Can I, I talk to, to you? I want to confirm to be true 100% from, from, from Indonesia. You are from Indonesia. Okay. You are a servant of God. Yes. You are into ministry. Yes. Correct. Yes. But God is using you. Thank you. God is using you. But sometimes circumstances surrounding you make you to give up. Yes. Make you to feel as if, should I give up? What should I do? Don't yes. give up. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Yes. I you are into ministry. Yes. Okay? I, I, I just want to give for the Holy Spirit. Yes. I'm you have the love of God and yes. that calling is there. Yes. Don't give up. Thank you. Don't give I up. I need help. As you are going back now, yes. you are going back to do the real work of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. God is going to move through you Amen. to touch lives. Thank you. Amen. Back in your country. Thank you, Jesus. Okay? Thank you. So, it is divine for you to be here. Thank you. Yes. Okay? That's right. Thank you. Just hug me. Jesus' name. So you are a servant of God. 
Don't give up. Thank you. My name is Brian. I'm from Indonesia and uh, Surabaya City is my town. Last year, 22-23 October 2022, the man of God, Apostle John Chi, called me to the prayer line on the front and prophesied for my life. And the man of God prophesied for me to uh, don't give up and never give up. Keep going to your ministry. After this service, you're going back to your country. The real power of God will be working through your life. You will be blessing for your country. Hallelujah. Do you mean that you received a word of God from the man of God, Apostle John Chi? Yes. What were his words? What did he tell you? Yeah. He prophesied that the real power of God will be working through my ministry after I go back to my country. I will be blessed for my country and never give up. So after this word of prophecy, what happened? Yes. Uh, during the service, October until now is six months, seven days. After I go back from Dubai, I never come back to my town in two months. I ministry, I preach, I meet new people, I saw many miracles, sign wonder, deliverance, healing. I saw the power of Holy Spirit. I saw, I saw uh, paralyzed people cannot walk from the chair, walking right away on the Sunday service. I saw people coma and I, I put my hand and stand up. And everything is miracle, and I was crying that surface, and it's miracle. If you are clapping to Jesus, you would do better, <laughs> sir. Can you please explain to us before the word of prophecy, what was happening in your ministry? Yes, some people blame me. You are not famous pastor. You don't have YouTube. You don't have Zoom. You don't have school for the real Bible like I'm a, I'm a, a pastor. I have a good Bible school. And uh, also, he put me down and all my friends, he doesn't look at me. They like to come to big church. They like to, uh, you know, talk a negative thing about me. Even when I come to Dubai alone and I pay all my debt and everything, but I believe because the Holy Spirit guide me when I come here, I believe when I got home from here, my life is going to be different and change. So, sir, do you mean before the coming of the man of God, before you received the word of prophecy, your ministry was facing stagnation, there was uh, no growth in your ministry? Yeah, people always blame me. They don't believe even they have a miracle. They on, only have a prophecy from like, Famous pastor in my country, they like to listen to prophesy, but the, all the prophecy never, never come true. But what I have from here, even I don't know the man of God, only from the YouTube. But I was 2009, I was praying with uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua, the Papa, and I was shocked, and all the prophecy to my life is true, is automatically, even I don't have time to come back to my town. The miracle follow me everywhere I go. I sleep in the uh, people house. I, I come to see people. I preach uh, many church. I don't know them. Even I don't. Uh, I preach to all international church. I preach on the front of a pastor in my 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 uh, my country. Even I don't know them. I don't know that everything is a miracle. After now is a miracle because God want me to come back again. To see the glory of God through the man of God. You, all the people around the world, you have to believe. You can receive the power of God with your faith. You have to come with pure heart. God using you, anointing you, whatever you are, whoever you are. I receive already. You should have to receive today, not tomorrow. Can we give a better clap offering to Jesus? Sir, during the prophecy of the man of God, he said your ministry is going to change. That you will be taken to a next level. How can you confirm it? Yes, because when I was preaching, when I was ministering, even I don't touch, even I don't want to pray. 
But suddenly people walk, people crying, people manifestation, and all suddenly the witchcraft, all the the uh, the devil, everything ran away. I was crying. I was on the, on the stage. People walk from the chair. I was on the uh, people sitting on the on the behind. Everything get healed. The seeking and the demons show up. The body manifestation uh, falling on the floor all over. Before I pray, the whole church. 80-90% people get here. I have no idea. Can we give a better clap offering to Master Jesus Christ? If you're listening to our pastor very well, he said before the coming, before he could get in contact with the man of God, things were not moving well for him in his ministry. Whatever he would do in the ministry, they would use it against him. In fact, the people were no longer believing in him and they were accusing him at some point of time. But the moment he came in contact with the man of God and he received the word of prophecy, he keyed into that word of prophecy. And when he went back, the evidence was clear. Things that never happened in his ministry began happening. He said he could see people on the wheelchair standing to walk. He could see demons fleeing from the lives of people. He could see sicknesses fleeing from the lives of people. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. After today. Something will enter me. I don't know if you understand. When he left here, something had entered him. And that thing that entered him was capable of transforming the life of Christians. Was capable of transforming the life of his members. Say, neighbor, after today, something will enter me. And that something will change my life. Whoever I come in contact with, it will change that person. In my family, there is going to be a change. In my life, at my job site, in my company, there is going to be a change. Because what is about to enter me is about to bring change. Do you believe that? If you believe, can you give a better clap offering to Jesus? And how do you feel after seeing what God is using you to do? Yes, after go back uh, from Dubai, even I was praying, fasting 40 days, no food, and the whole days 40 days. I don't know where is the power come from. But I, I 15 December to 23, 23 January, 40 days, I have no food. I have stayed in my day, my room, in you know, my prayer room, and I was crying. And after that, I have a curse that the whole the whole people i know i don't know the people they, they pay the the building they pay everything i don't know all the people there and i have this is all the miracle and clap for jesus christ he did not only receive physical change but his spiritual life has moved to the next level if you hear him he say he could not fast for 40 days this is something he wasn't doing before indeed he has been transported to the next level say i am going to the next level Tell yourself, call your name, say, I am going to the next level. Physically and spiritually, I am going to the next level. Do you believe that? If you believe, it shall be your portion in Jesus' name. And sir, for this wonderful thing God Almighty has done for you, what is your advice to people out there? You should believe, because the Bible says, the Hebrew thing. A, uh, Jesus Christ yesterday, today and forever never changed and you have to believe you don't need to know how God works you just believe and keep humble yourself and be patient and you have pure heart come to God first don't wait until God come to you because we are only dust remember that clap for Jesus Christ Yes, he says believe. Believing is the only condition for you to receive. Once you believe, you will receive. Hallelujah. And what is your promise to the Lord Almighty for this yes. wonderful thing? I believe this time God called me, come here to me, the man of God. I will receive more impartation for the small little thing until the big thing for the glory of God. With <laughs>
of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. The Man of God Apostle John Chi, move in the midst of the congregation. And the Spirit of God leads him to give messages of prophecy to the people. As the Bible clearly states in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God has promised not to leave his people in darkness. Jesus Christ is the light of the world and whoever follows him shall never walk in darkness. Can I talk to you? <coughs> there is fibroids. Yes, sir. Huh? Exactly, sir. There is fibroids here. Yes, sir. And at the same time, I'm seeing a baby. Yes, I'm actually pregnant. You're pregnant. Yes, sir. So, you're going to have a baby girl. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's not been easy, sir. Like, I didn't know all this why I had fibroid. I've been doing my normal work and all that. So when I got pregnant, I had this excruciating pain that it was, I almost lost the baby. So when I went to the hospital, I was surprised that they saw multiple fibroids so big that I didn't know all this why. I was just leaving my Place stomach. Place your hand on your stomach. Bless him! <laughs> She's free. Can you please tell us your name? Tell, tell us the word of prophecy you received from the man of God and how can you confirm this word of prophecy? Okay, my name is um, Eunice Omi. Last year when I attended the Dubai event uh, with the man of God, the man of God gave me a word of prophecy. I'm here to confirm it. And when he spotted me, he said, he's seen a fiber then. It's seen, he's seen a baby. So as at that time, I confirmed it because I was actually four months pregnant. And through the journey, after that four months, it wasn't easy because all along, I didn't knew I had this fiber. And I was going around my normal activity. I was going around my daily activity. And I was normal, normal, not until I got pregnant. And it was God that really helped me. And I almost I lost the baby. So the man of God spotted me that day, and he gave the word of prophecy. And at the end, he said, he's seen a baby girl. And to God be the glory, through the journey, it wasn't easy. God saw me through. My husband was very supportive during the period as well. And to the glory of God, um, in nine months, um, that was last month, I gave birth to a baby girl. And I'm here to testify to the glory of God. Can we give a better clap offering to Master Jesus? <laughs> Madam. Did you meet with the man of God to tell him you were pregnant? No. Because I want to believe four months pregnancy, not everybody can see that you are pregnant. Of course. Did you in one way, maybe behind you met with the man of God and you whispered to him that you were pregnant? Not at all. If that day was my first day meeting him one-on-one -on -one at the cause of the prophecy, I never for once have met him before now, proud before now. So it was a surprise and it was God that orchestrated you know, the whole thing and my coming and I give God the glory. Were you not surprised that the man of God walked up to you out of thousand people and told you that you were carrying a baby? Exactly. I was really surprised because one of the things that brought me that day was God. I want that main issue in my life when it regarding the prophecy to be talked about. And to God be the glory, it was it was I was amazed and God just opened my file and that was it. He prayed for me and I was delivered. I give God the glory. And now I'm here with my baby girl. Can we give a better clap offering to Master Jesus? So after the prophecy, what happened? After you received that word of prophecy and he prayed for you, what happened? After I received the word of prophecy, God saw me through the pregnancy period. To be honest, it wasn't easy, but God helped me. It was a small one. And months to come, I had my baby. To the glory of God. Can we celebrate Master Jesus? Did the man of God tell you the sex of the baby? Yes. Right after I gave the prophecy and uh, when he prayed for me, he said, I'm seeing a baby girl. As I then, four months, uh, I didn't know what already the sex of the baby was. And I was just normal. But when he told me, I carried that uh, um, word of prophecy, the sex in my mind. I carried it with faith and 
each time I think about the prophecy, it gives me this faith more. And to God be the glory, I have the baby girl. Can we give a better clap offering to Master Jesus Christ? Madam, the people of God will want to confirm if indeed you gave birth to a baby girl. So can we see your baby's face? Can we give a better clap offering? Indeed, it's a baby girl. <laughs> Madam, for this wonderful thing God Almighty has done for you, seeing you through your pregnancy and you giving birth safely, what is your advice to people listening to you? My advice is um, have faith. You know, faith is in impossible and invisible. So my advice is to have faith and leave the rest to God and God is going to fight a battle. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can we celebrate Master Jesus? And what is your promise to the Lord Almighty for this wonderful thing he has done for you? Uh, my promise actually is that God uh, should give me the grace to nurture the child in the fear of God, in the wisdom and in the knowledge of his faithfulness. Praise God. We pray with you that God gives you the grace. God gives you the grace to go and bring up this child in the way of the Lord in Jesus' name. Can we celebrate Master Jesus as she walks back to her seat? Thank you. 
moment you embrace Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, you can boldly say to your situation, don't be surprised if any moment from now I am blessed. Yeah. You can boldly say to your sickness, don't be surprised if any moment from now I am healed. Yeah. And you can boldly say to your bad habits, don't be surprised if any moment from now I am transformed. Amen. 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 You are welcome. So give your neighbor a handshake. You are welcome to his presence. You are welcome to his presence. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, I can see in this great assembly men and women of integrity, disciples of Jesus Christ. Those who are here to take Jesus Christ at his every word. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. So I will not take much of your time. I believe your coming here is not an accident. God is aware that you are here. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So let me seize this opportunity to thank everyone gathered here today. Thank you for obeying the instruction of God. The Bible says, no one can come to me unless the Father brings him. You obey the instruction and you are here. You are welcome. Thank you. So thank God for the pastor. <laughs> Amen. So I just want to remind you that my wife is here too, Esther John Chi.
and I came with my team. So, thank God, we are all here. And I want to also tell you that I am here present. Thank you for accepting me in your midst. Amen. So let me prepare you for what you're about to receive. Are you ready? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. As people of God, look up to Jesus. He is here to meet you at the point of your need. Your case will not escape the anointing today. Amen. We are here because of those who have laid down positive examples for us to follow. We've had fathers of faith, great men and women of God who have been before us And the gospel will continue. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation for those who believe. For the sake of this gospel, I am here. In this nation, Dubai. Amen. Amen. Positive examples are tremendous motivators for success, just as negative examples are tremendous motivators for failure. Success is as a result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. The lesson I've learned in life is that personal improvements and fulfillment in life comes through the continual process of learning from both negative and positive experiences. Experience has shown us how easy it is to become carried away by prosperity and how easy it is to abandon our post in the face of trying times. From day to day, we depend upon the providence of God to steady our hearts in the face of trying times and prosperous times. Job is a good example of what I'm talking about. Job saw his trying times as a reason for believing in God, just as he saw his prosperous times as a reason for believing in God as well. He stood through his trials and he became brightest in his affliction. This was because he saw beyond his situation. Beyond his situation was revival, renewal, and redemption. People of God, I'm here to encourage you that your situation is redeemable through Christ. Yeah. All you need to do is to see beyond that situation. Beyond your situation, there God is. Their solution is. Hey, I never see beyond your situation. I cannot hear you. See beyond your situation. 
beyond your situation? There God is. Their solution is. So we shall dwell on the message titled, See Beyond Your Situation. Everyone here has a situation, isn't it? Only God knows your situation. Everyone has a situation. But as a child of God, see beyond that situation. Let me take you to the book of James chapter 1. Let's take it from verse 2. James chapter 1 from verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. God's love does not keep us away from trials, but sees us through trials. When trial comes, be calm, be determined. Amen. Sometimes in our lives, we encounter harsh realities of the vicissitudes of life. I mean changes in our fortunes. When you find yourself in such a situation, carry a while. Look around and you will discover the purpose of God in your situation. Remember, your situation is redeemable through Christ. All you need to do is to be proud of that situation in order to feel the redemption. Not that our redemption does not call for personal efforts, but to have a look of faith to the cross where Jesus Christ conquered Satan and gave us victory. Victory through Christ is victory indeed. The victory I'm talking about is not for those who quit, but for those who endure. Tell your neighbor, victory is not for those who quit, but for those who endure. Victory is not for those who quit, but for those who endure. Joseph endured the pain and hardship in the dry pits, slavery in Potiphar's house, and harsh prison condition because he knew the goal of his future. And God Almighty ushered him into a position of honor. The case of Joseph teaches us that no one can maintain his position of honor without knowing what it takes to be dishonored. Without graduating from the college of humiliation, blackmail, hatred, name calling, persecution, your degree in phrases will be questionable. Daniel endured the tension and pressure mounted on him by his rivals because he knew the goal of his future. And God's word from his lips became the invisible weapon that shot the mouth of the lion. Dear people of God, 
the life of believers from both the Old and New Testament testifies that being faithful to God does not eliminate adversities. When we accept adversities, enduring every pain, then we will learn what we should know and our grief will turn to good. Today, everyone wants to experience a new level in life, but no one is ready to go through a little discomfort. Let me ask you this question. What will you do when you are faced with trials? What will you do when you are face to face with uncommon challenges? The life and attitude of Job towards his creator during his period of trial readily comes to mind when the discussion on trusting God in trials comes up. His experience is a rare proof of the crown of glory that awaits a real Christian who overcomes the confrontation of Satan. After Job's trial, God eventually restored his blessings threefold. His wasted hours turned to success. The same victorious reward awaits you. When you are challenged or confronted with natural circumstances and you are able to surmount them, because crisis cannot break the one who relies on God's strength. Encourage your neighbor, rely on God's strength. Encourage someone by your side, rely on God's strength. Rely on God's strength. Because upon our own strength, we cannot rely. Only upon God's strength that we can go on and go forth. Our natural strength is a perfect weakness. Our natural courage is a perfect cowardice. All our sufficiencies are from God. That is why I agree with the psalmist when he said in Psalm 27 verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When you begin to trust in God's authority and not in man's majority, God will begin to direct you. I mean, he will manifest his strength in your weakness. And when he does, every mountain for your sake shall be leveled. And the hill for your sake will be made plain. It is his strength that helps our weakness. It is his strength that helps our weakness. When you feel you are weak in yourself, look to Jesus Christ for strength and grace. The grace of God is the good will of God towards us. And this is enough to enliven and enlighten us, sufficient to strengthen and comfort us, to support our souls and cheer up our spirit in our affliction and distress. If his strength is made manifest in your weakness, you can go through any difficulty. Even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you fear no evil. It is his strength that helps our weakness.
walking in his presence is so exciting. When you walk in his presence, there will be about and around you angels unspeakably more numerous and God infinitely, incredibly more powerful. Daniel walked in God's presence and he was saved in the lion's den. But today, many marvel and doubt how it all happened. You too can be saved in your difficult situation. If God manifests his strength in your weakness. People of God. If the situation you are in now does not guarantee your future, do not despair. Do not murmur. Do not listen to the language of that situation. Remember, your situation has a language. Each time he keeps talking to you, provoking you, telling you you are not a child of God, give up. Do not listen to the temptation to act out of character or react badly to the emotion of which you are experiencing. When you look at The difficulties, hard times, great biblical characters like Joseph, David, Moses, Daniel, Shedra, Meshach, and Abednego, Peter, and Paul Apostle encountered. You agree with me that the way and manner God Almighty executes his plan in our lives differs. When God is executing his plan in our lives, he also designs and arranges events which will continue to unfold until his purpose is revealed. Joseph was to be a source of freedom for his people. He had to taste dry pit slavery imprisonment for a better future. Peter was to be a source of blessing to his people. He had to taste poverty, disappointment, set back at the seaside for a better future. If the situation you are in now does not guarantee your future, do not lose faith. The end has not come. The best is always yet to come. There is something far more important There is something far more important than your present situation. Your divine destiny. Each time you are face to face with uncommon challenges, do not lose hope. They may be to prepare you for the uncommon blessings that are waiting ahead of you. Because uncommon blessings always attract uncommon challenges. Your uncommon blessings may be to keep you for a new level in life. To strengthen your desire for God. To prepare you for the challenges ahead. Your uncommon challenges may be for you to gain the necessary experience and maturity to handle the responsibility given to you. As a child of God, no matter the situation you are in, no matter the situation you are in, if your purpose is clear, hard time must not, must not stop you, but should encourage you to exercise your faith as a Christian. Hard times must not stop you, but should encourage you to exercise your faith as a Christian. Remember Job. Your hard times could be sickness. It could be failure, disappointment, setback. It could be barrenness. Whatever it is must not stop you, but should encourage you to exercise your faith as a Christian. Because those who bless God in trouble, in trials, prove their assumption. I 
as a child of God, be strong in challenges. When the situation seems to suggest that there's no hope, no way, no future, don't give up. God is still saying something which you may not understand because of your limitation in the things of the Spirit. Children of God, your situation is not meant to impair you, but to improve you. Your situation is for the glory of God. Give God time. The results are working themselves out. It may be slow, but it is sure. At God's appointed time, at God's appointed time, His purpose will be fulfilled in your life. May God bless His word in your hearts. Amen. Amen. Yes. At the center of it all is you that I see. Is you that I see. What do you see in the cloud? In the situation. children that we have given birth to, they are also following the same way. And this auntie is fighting with this auntie, that's why the children are fighting and going also the other way. My sister children will not talk to me because I'm fighting with my sister. That's how it is. When I come together with my sister, the children come together just like that. I wonder how I the want to meet you. Okay? You, there are more to it. Thank you, sir. I want to meet you and send you to your people. Amen! Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I said 
said it. I said it. I said it. That will be the Joseph of my family. A lot of allegations, hatred. But I know I'm a good woman. But yet, I know if I have all I can give to everybody, I can give, 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 and even remain with nothing. But even my money disappeared. All thing about me disappeared. Relationship, nothing. You have nothing to show. Nothing. Disappointment. Everything. Disappointment. My worry now is what is going through your mind. Exactly, man of God. I, what I was saying there, this is him sitting right there. If you can talk to him, sir, then I will be free. He's a bone on my throat. A bone on my throat. Last time I brought him, he said he doesn't believe in you. I said, come, 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 come. That same man that you say you don't believe in him, he will set you free. He's in a tight corner. God will set him free. And has hack on me. I'm not God. My brother, God bless you. Come. God bless you. I did not send myself. I am here based on instruction. Okay. So, what is going through her mind is not the best. Okay. So the right thing should be done. Mm. Because the right thing has not been done. Mm. The right thing should be done. All right. This is from God. Okay? Though you people have your challenges. When you people start your challenges, your crisis, it becomes so serious. But God's hand is in this. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. This woman, you need to be free because you have a man. A man that is troubling you and when this man, when the anger comes, he become a man. He become a man. I she can scatter all our fix. She don't take to anybody. It is not her, but it is what is coming from the family. It's a generational problem. Okay? So, for you, the family you come from, they need God. I will say polygamous background. Huh? That's correct. Polygamous background. So, you know the step you are coming from. God loves you. God loves you. Amen. I want to meet two of you. I'll talk to you. Okay. Come, come, give me your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free. Thank you, Lord. So, you have to believe in God. Sure. Because you climb, you come down. That's okay. exactly Things are not going the way you expected. Yes. Okay? But there is a promise Amen. of God for you. Amen. Okay? Amen. So, 
blessings are coming. Okay? Wait for me. Wait for me. So are you still doubting no, the call of God? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Iron sharpened iron. Okay? Yes, sir. You need to be sharpened. Yes, sir. Because it gets to a place your faith becomes weak. Yes, sir. And you begin to ask yourself questions. Okay. Am I really called? Yeah. What can I do? So, I'll meet you. Okay? okay. I'll meet you. I'll pray with you. Yes, sir. Okay? Thank you. I Give me you. a hand. Wait for me. Servant of God, how are you? Mm -hmm. I'm good. I want you to join so that we pray for her. Okay? We pray for her. Because there is a health challenge. Yes. I want to join my faith with your faith. So that we pray, okay? God will restore her. Yeah. Okay? Yes. Give me a hand. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. So, so, I want to join your family. And I want to join you. Yeah. She's a good woman. But the background, I do background. But not everybody is called into deliverance ministry. Okay? When you are called into deliverance ministry, you make a difference. Okay? okay. It is not delivering 1,000 people, but one that God sent to you, the soul will be saved. Mm -hmm. Okay? I want to meet you. I will meet you. I will pray with you. And I will tell you what to do. Okay? Yes. You wait for me. You wait for me.
Where is your son? My son Joseph. Uh huh. How are you? You are good. Yes. That's your wife? Yes. Okay. Joseph, you need God. Okay? Don't allow influence. Friends. Friends. Influence of friends. Okay? Yes. You have a very bright future, but they want to destroy your future. Yes, that's true. You are mixed with friends that has nothing to offer you apart from destruction. Okay? You have caused your parents pain. Huh? True, exactly. Out of pain. Yes. Because okay. what you are doing is not what they wanted you to do. Yes. Okay. He graduated. He has a degree. But he is doing nothing. He always cried to God for his life. He has a degree, graduated in the United States. In the United States, he's doing, but he is doing nothing since he graduated. God loves you. Okay. He has a great plan for you. You just need to sit down and find out what God has for you. Yes, okay. Give me a hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just a hand. Just this on the come on. Doctors work on you. You were operated upon. I, I was operated for six section, but I have high blood pressure, and uh, they said I'm in the beginning of uh, diabetes. I mean, you were operated before. Yes. But you still feel pain. Yeah. That is where I'm going. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know there is high blood pressure, there is diabetes, mm -hmm. but. Let's deal with the roots of the problem. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Give me a hand. Mm. So God loves you. Mm. God loves you. You 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 thank you. Thank you. You're supposed to be right up there. Yeah. You have help. You have worked for people. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But they still call you names. They still call you names. Exactly. Put it behind you. Amen. And release forgiveness. Amen. Okay? Thank you, God. God is with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Wait for me. Oh, happy to see you. How are you? <laughs> How are you? God bless you. Thank you. How are you? I'm great, but uh, what you said today, this I preached. I had three or four months. I had uh, this really, this um, blessings, attack, and really God said removed and many things. It's the wrong place. Okay. And, and I saw some visions, and I, I had also personal meeting by grace of God. And by the explain. I, I will tell you. I believe that you will release me <laughs> blessings. I'm going to meet you. Woman of God, I'm going to meet you. Okay? Yes. I'm going to meet you. So you wait for me. I want to meet you. Yes. So, where is your partner? Yes. Your husband? I call your husband because he has health issues. 
Я вызвала твоего мужа, потому что у него есть какая-то ну, проблема да, ситуация. Family problems. They had some change in the relationship. Yeah, but the first of all, his health. Boris, у вас со здоровьем да нет этой проблемы? He has some pain in leg, and he cannot walk well. He has to pray against stroke. У вас инсульт или типа того было? Или давление, да? Что такое? Но там стреляет, да? Стреляет я строк. Строк. Я еще pray against it. Against what? Against what? Against stroke. Stroke. Еще у вас этот стреляет, да? Я хихас, я про проблемы. Okay, so God loves you. Okay, so let's first talk about your health before we come to a relationship. Ваше здоровье надо вот сейчас помолиться помолиться апостол. She said he needed deliverance. Yes. So him, he needs prayer because his health. Вам, вам необходимо молиться. Молитва очень срочно, потому что у вас проблемы ну, со здоровьем. Правильно? То у тебя есть гнев. Правильно? Я хочу выслушать Прощение. Ты должна простить. God wants you to relieve forgiveness. Бог хочет дать тебе прощение от своего мужа, да? Вообще прощение твоего сердца. Yes, yes, my God. Give me a hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You spirit of anger out of her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Дух гнева, выйди вон во имя Иисуса. Выйди вон от нее, покинь, оставь. Jesus Christ. Elves in the Wait, world. Wait, you want to Могучественное имя Иисуса.
In the name of Jesus. Во имя Иисуса Христа. The mighty name of ah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Будь исцелен. Во имя Иисуса. Thank you, Lord. It's free. Спасибо, Иисус. Stand up. Leave him. You're free. God bless you. Дочка. Давно дочка у меня здесь сидит. Я оставлял ее давно. У нее тоже есть обиды на меня. Сидит. He said um, many times uh, his uh, he, his daughter is here. She has a rejection, spirit of rejection, because many times she, he said she he uh, left her, and she she like. You have attacks in the dream. У тебя сны, да, не хорошие снятся. Nightmares. Кошмары ночные. It's true. In the name of Jesus Christ. Во имя Иисуса. Give me a hand. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Спасибо, Иисус. She's free. Disappointment. Yes. God loves you. Okay? Yes. What happened? The man in your life, what happened? I was just sick. Uh, I came here. Hmm? I was just, I just felt sick, and uh, I don't know what happened when I came back into my life. So. I said there was a man in your life. Yes, sir. What happened between you? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. You don't know. Yes, sir. Where is he? He's in US. Are you people still the same together? Yeah. Huh? What happened? I don't know. You don't know. You have to pray. Okay? This is disappointment I'm talking about. Okay? okay? Because you you gave your heart. Generational curse. A generational curse. 
that is following you. Okay? It's from the family. It's not only you. Marital crisis. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Wait for me. Thank you. God loves you. Бог любит вас. Thank you. Yes. So, I want to talk to you. Я хочу поговорить с тобой. So that we pray for your health. Молиться за ваше здоровье. Помолиться за ваше здоровье хочу. Да, у меня головная боль и ухо плохо слышит. He has a headache, strong headache, and he is left side here, left side. And you feel heavy. Вы тяжело себя чувствуете, правильно? Я приехал в Казахстан. He came from Kazakhstan. Yeah, he feel very heavy, and he came with daughter. Дочка. Okay. So you are worried. Вы переживаете? Yes. Yes. Your father is worried. Because of you too. Because of you too. So, disappointment. Disappointment. Yes. 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 Fifty percent. Okay, give me a hand. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ.
in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. You evil spirit, I command you to come out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. You have no place in her body. She belongs to Jesus Christ. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. You have no place in her. You have no place in her body. She belongs to Jesus Christ. Come out in the name of Not only must we have God's word, in order to be a Christian, you must have God's spirit. You need his spirit to point you to your future success. Right now, stretch out your hand. The spirit of the Father fall afresh on you right now. Holy Spirit, fall afresh on your children right now. Amen. Fortify them. Equip them. Amen. Endow them. Amen. Empower them. Amen. Strengthen them Amen. to overcome. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If your faith is not enough, just offer prayer of faith right now. Jesus Christ wants to enlarge your spiritual coast. Power to do exploit fall upon you right now. Amen. Power to heal the sick fall upon you right now. Amen. Power to deliver the oppressed fall upon you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There is a name that is above all other names. That name is Jesus Christ. Amen. At the mention of that name, unclean spirit trembles. At the mention of that name, evil spirit have no hiding place. Whatever spirit that followed you here today, whatever spirit that followed you here today, be it spirit of failure, Out. be it spirit of setback, Out. be it spirit of disappointment, Out. be it spirit of sickness, Out. 
Be a spirit of barrenness. Come out! Come out! In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mind of God, you were created a successful person. In the mind of God, you were created a blessed person. But what is happening to you right now? What is happening to you right now? Jesus Christ is here to break that yoke in your life. Yes. Jesus Christ is here right now to break that yoke in your life. Yes. By anointing, Jesus Christ breaks the yoke. That yoke of sickness, Jesus Christ is here to break it. That yoke of failure, Jesus Christ is here to break it. That yoke of disappointment, Jesus Christ is here to break it. That yoke of setback, Jesus Christ is here to break it. That yoke of sudden death, Jesus Christ is here to break it. Whatever yoke you brought here today, be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. That ancestral cage, that ancestral bondage, you are coming out of that bondage. You are coming out of that cage. You are coming out of that cage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come out! Come out! I stretch out my hand. To remove you from that ancestral cage. Yeah. Come out of that cage. Come out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Demons unclean spirits. Are behind the godless activities and destructive elements you see around. They are the cause of sickness, the cause of failure, the cause of disappointment. Demons are the cause. Right now, I stretch out my hand. Demon power over your life, be broken! Demon power over your life, be broken! Demon power over your family life, be broken! Be broken! Be broken! Be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your good destiny. From the cage of your ancestors. I release your good destiny. From the cage of your forefathers. I release your good destiny. From the cage of your ancestors. Be released. Be released. Be released. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You spiritual husband. Oh. You spiritual wife. Oh. Tormenting my people. Oh. You strong man. Oh. You strong woman. Oh. Tormenting my people in the dream. Oh. Holy Ghost fire. Yeah. Holy Ghost fire. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. No hiding place for evil spirits. No hiding place for unclean spirits. I command you, wherever you are, any spirit that followed you here today, be arrested! Be arrested! Be arrested! In the name of Jesus Christ. In the 
mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand. Stretch it out. I touch you by faith. Receive anointing to disgrace your problems. Receive anointing to disgrace your problems. Receive anointing to disgrace sickness. Receive anointing to disgrace the gate of violent spirits. Receive anointing to tear down the kingdom of Satan and set the captives free. Receive it! Receive it! Right now, place your hand, place your hand wherever you have the pain. Place it wherever you have the problem. Something is about to happen to you that cannot be explained by the human mind. Something is about to happen to you that cannot be explained by the human mind. Place it, place it, place it, place it, place it. Bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it. Something is about to happen to you right now. The mighty one has descended. The mighty one has descended to fight your battles, to fight your unseen battles, and to give you victory on every side. Bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it. Bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, visit your people. Touch them, spirit, soul, and body. Be healed. 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 Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it. Bless it, bless it, bless it. Jesus Christ is the greatest physician the world has ever known. Never a sickness he cannot heal. Never a disease he cannot cure. Never a problem he cannot solve. Bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it. I command sickness in your system. Come out! I command sickness in your womb. Come out! I command sickness in your lungs. Come out! That cancer. Come out! Say out! Say out! 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, bless it, 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 bless it. The light of God is going through you right now. The light of God is going through you right now. No hiding place for unclean spirits. No hiding place for unclean spirits. The mighty hand of God is touching you right now. The mighty hand of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of that cage! There are many here. They cannot rise above a certain level. When they get to a certain level, everything collapses. There are many here. Generational curse of sickness. When they get to a certain level, a particular amen, a particular sickness come upon them. There are many here. No matter how beautiful or handsome, disappointment. As a result of generational curse. I stretch out my hand. That generational curse of sickness. That generational curse of failure. That generational curse of disappointment. 
That generational curse of marry and remarry. Put out! Put out! 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mind of God, you were created a healthy person. Not an embodiment of sickness. Right now, sickness in your blood. Sickness in your blood. Sickness in your blood. Sickness in your tendons. Sickness in your tissues. Sickness in your kidneys. Sickness in your liver. Sickness in your liver. Sickness in your womb. Say out! Say out! 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever you might have eaten in the dream, all from the table of the enemy that causes sickness. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! In the name of Jesus Christ, I release you now from that cage. Be in family cage. Be released! Be released! In the name of Jesus Christ! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ! Whatever Satan might have used to connect you to himself, I disconnect you now. I disconnect you now. Amen. Be disconnected. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any evil device they are using to monitor your progress. We have many here. They monitor them everywhere they go. Nothing good can come out of them. Because they monitor you. Any evil device they are using to monitor you. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Any evil pots. Any evil altar. Carry your name. Carrying your destiny. Carrying your belongings. Be broken! Be broken! Be broken! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any evil covenant made with demons knowingly or unknowingly be broken! Be broken! In the name of Jesus Christ. Be released from that cage. Be released from that cage. In the name of Jesus Christ. From now on, you are released. From now on, you are free. From now on, you are free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is that sickness still there? Is that sickness still there? Is that sickness still there? You mean the sickness is gone? Come on, begin to rejoice and be glad. Rejoice and be glad. Jesus has set you free. 
In Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, like I said, we don't have time, but I want to assure you that tomorrow, I will be here before you. Amen. 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 I will come here as early as possible. Even if you are not here, I will be here. I will just be praying here. I will be waiting for you. So you meet me here. Amen. Amen. So I will be here as early as possible and wait for you. So when you come, we start it there. I want to talk to you, you talk to me. I want to touch you, you touch me. If I cannot deliver you, you deliver me. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. If your faith is lifted up, let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. If your faith is lifted up, let me see your hand. When God is involved, no matter he said to live, no matter the matter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's come as early as possible. I'll be here waiting for you.